jasonnewland.com My name's Jason Newland and this is Deep Sleep Whisper Hypnosis Please only listen when you can safely close your eyes I hope you're well I hope you can allow yourself to get comfortable and let go of everything for at least the duration of this recording this is your time this is your space your safe space where you don't have to do anything you don't have to feel anything you don't have to say Just relax into yourself, to relax the different parts of your body, and to relax your mind, because there's nothing else to do in this moment. muscles in your body gradually and slowly relaxing and you can notice the the easing of pressure from your body and your mind as that remaining tension and stress starts it's as if the stress and tension needs a certain energy a certain specific type of energy in order for that tension As you relax even more, you can start to notice that tension moving away and reducing. if you and when you think about relaxing your body relaxing your muscles and relaxing your mind all of those parts are willing participants in this relaxation basically it's pleasant it's lovely to just let go and your body as well as your mind needs this break from always working from always doing something or thinking about something take a short vacation, a 
a short holiday from all that thinking. And of course, as your mind slows down and relaxes, that causes your body and the muscles in your So mirrors that feeling and feels even calmer, even quieter, so that those thoughts that were in your mind before seem to just turn into dust. away. It's almost like you're spring cleaning your mind. You're having a good old clean out. You've opened the windows, all the windows are open, all the doors, and you're just allowing the wind to blow through, getting rid of any of that unnecessary clutter. of no use to you now, especially when you're relaxing, especially if you're planning to drift to sleep, because thinking is not required, for that are the most basic and sleeping are as easy as breathing as easy as laughing or sneezing it's just a natural thing that we do falling asleep to be able to relax. It wants you to give permission for it to just do nothing for a while. Because let's face it, we're quite demanding on our bodies and our minds a lot of the time. Expecting our bodies to do things for us and our minds to think about things. yourself as the employer, you're the boss of your body and your mind, and your mind and your body and all the muscles in your body are your employees, you can just send them home for the day, send them home early, give them a long weekend. just leaves an empty office with nothing happening, a place that's very calm and very relaxed. Which means all the different parts of your body let go and enjoy having this time off. The muscles in your arms and your legs can just relish that comfort that comes from doing absolutely.
nothing, no walking, no lifting things up, just sitting there or lying on your bed or your sofa, wherever you're lying down, if you're lying doesn't have to support your head. So it allows your neck to relax, really relax. And when your neck relaxes, it sends that signal all the way down your back. Because all the muscles are interconnected. standing up with your neck supporting your head, your shoulders and your back and your chest and your stomach and your legs are all part of that process. So when you're no longer needing to support your head because you have a pillow or the back of the chair sigh of relief and really enjoy relaxing and letting go and having that break that comfort enjoying that comfort which then spreads even more to the rest of the body spine, through your nervous system, to every single part of your body, the signal of positivity, to just relax, and for every muscle in your body, and all the bones, to know that it's okay, to relax, it's safe. they're not needed for anything. And the more your body relaxes, even further, your mind seems to become really still. It's a part of you thinking, well, there's usually lots of thoughts happening. Where are all the thoughts that maybe you usually have? Then you realize that thinking about where the thoughts are are the only thoughts that you're having. And then you can just see those thoughts that you had then turn into dust, dropping onto the floor, and the wind blowing all that dust away, out of the window. So there's no space for any thoughts to be able to linger, because every thought as it arises turns into dust and gets blown out of the window by the wind, blown away. And then there's that part of you that thinks, well, I can't be bothered to think about anything then. If no thought's going to stay, it's all going to turn to dust. What's the point in thinking? Those thoughts turn to dust, ironically, and get blown away. To the point where there's that familiar feeling. So almost 
spacey feeling where your mind starts to slightly lose focus because there's nothing to focus on. Sure. 